We have recently acquired Sigurd's Relic. Now this is going to boost his basic stats by 25% of the enemy with the highest combat class. This passive is going to apply a attack buff for every enemy affected by a stat decreasing effect. The easiest way to proc this is with new mono. The start of the turn applies an effect on enemies without debuffs and it'll decrease the crit resistance and crit defense. In conjunction with Ragnarok Bond, further boosting attack related stats by 10%. Then a strong DPS such as Trader Meliota should have a good time. Now this is a full single target DPS team. We have no support, we have no utility, so we do need to one-shot everybody as fast as possible. Uh, we will see how well this team can do that. All right, first matchup is against Trader Meli, Godliz, and Green Gother. Oh, Red Gother in the Green Gother outfit. So there is the mono debuff. There is the Sacred Passive. We have quite the attack boost. What's everybody at so far? 13, 14, 15. Gotta remember this is ungeared. So we do need a proc revive. Let's go for Gother. We'll just do all of our single target attacks. Evasion food, okay. I think they were at about 180, so 180 with evade food is pretty, pretty good. Now, as you can see, Sigurd ended up critting Melly did proc Liz passive, so that's already out of the way. We should be able to wipe out Gother here. Rank up attack seal. Ooh, the attack seal is going to put quite the damper here on us. We could go for Sigurd ult. I don't really want to extort. I want to keep Mono's passive moving, which will simultaneously keep Sigurd's passive going. I mean, I guess I could extort and get stunned. That's fine. Any other attack seals? No, you're shielding. Okay. So we'll definitely have to take out Gother now so that we don't get attack sealed again. And pray that you don't get a merge. So this should break the shield. Not quite. Mono will break the shield, and then you will die to melee. Recruiting Gother. I think he usually has a pretty high crit resistance, so we've got a lot of attack buffs. There's no reason we wouldn't be critting. Now, do you have another stun? We have T1 in the back. I guess for CC purposes, he doesn't really do too much. Looks like you have a couple merges. You definitely could have another stun. But there's no way you have two. So we should be able to take somebody out here. So you're going for Sigurd. You don't want this ult going off. Which makes sense. Now the question is, do we go for Liz or do we go for Melly? We probably have to go for Liz. Liz is 6-6. Six, six. T1 is 6-6, six, six. and Melly is not. You know what? We'll go for Melly, actually, because with Melly ult, we can strip up. Don't want to chance a 1-6 Melly with four buffs potentially wiping us. Not sure how much damage that'll come out to be, but I think this is a better route to take. Sigurd probably one-shots any of them through Reflect anyways. We actually just have to hope that Liz doesn't have enough stuns for everybody. I mean, even if she does, it's probably not going to matter. Oh, you're double shielding. That's funny because everything is about to go away. So that's one. Is there anything that I could do? We could try it. I don't really want to try it. I'm only going to get one ult. I think I'm going to get... I should be getting Melly's ult, right? 
I don't have anything that I could just burn. Oh, he's laughing at me. Why would he laugh? He's probably got a stun. So you could stun Melly. Or I could just stall. Oh, we have a gold. What is that? Gold T1 attack. Going for Sigurd. Interesting. So we merge for a gold, take out Sigurd. Okay. So we will strip your shield. Mono goes crazy. And we'll throw this out there for the fun of it. Everybody should be dead to this anyways. T1 just barely tanking. He does have his three stat buffs. But King Laugh into an L. That is a shame. That is not how you want to go out. Up next, we have Mono, Melly, and Ludo. 204. You have quite the CC there. It looks like Ludo is not out CCing Melly, however. Although it's probably because my Melly is level 100. But so is their melee. Let's see how crazy your mono goes. You do have that Ludo passive down, so... Oh, well, Sigurd could die here. Yep. Okay, so the Pierce attack ends up critting there. I guess if the team goes second and they focus down Sigurd, then we are going to have a tough time. We don't have our attack buffs anymore, so... Who should we go for? Mono or Melly? Let's look at these ults in links. Is that 1 6 Mono? 3 6. Ooh, we gotta make a decision. I can't click. Alright, that's fine. We'll let the auto decide. Going for Mono? Does Melly go for Mono? You do. Alright, Mono's out. I guess that's fine. That works for me. Maybe we let the auto decide the rest of the game. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Did you pull a Deanne taunt? There's no way. Uh, I should have went for melee. Oof. Bye-bye, Mono. Dang, we got all the melee cards there, don't you? Bond did dissolve, so you aren't getting ult quite yet. However, we don't have another one. Do we gold pierce? That does get ult. So, why not? Look at all that damage. That is quite the sight to see. Gold pierce almost took out Ludo. Now, you don't have any hard CC, you don't have any ult control, so you kind of just have to go crazy into melee in order to stop this ult. Okay. Nice. A second one. That's not the best combination of attacks there. And their melee missed both crits. Dan still didn't taunt, and he's already taking the L on this one. I wanted to see the ult go off, but I guess not. Alrighty, last but not least, we have 206. 206, we have triple DPS on their side as well. Again, Ludo not out seeing my melee. Almost everybody is a level 100 on their side though. So I guess the best play again would be to all out Sigurd here, just like the previous guy, and then we don't get our buffs. We're going for Mono. I don't think you can kill- oh, well, Melee single target probably kills. Oh, we hit both crits. That's crazy. Okay. I guess we have a reason to extort now. I think we go for Melee. Let me click, please. Thanks. Sariel, Merlin, Troll. Okay. Oh, we could triple. No. We want our extorts. We can get our buffs at least for the next turn. 
If Sigurd lives. Okay, you missed both crits. And you missed your crit. Got him in half. Guess that's okay. Could be better. Could be a lot better. So we got Meli ult lined up. We could get Sigurd ult as well. Let's see if this X sword is going to help us out in not getting one shot. Double T1 into triple T1. We got a crit there. Second crit. Does he hit the third? Oh, Meli Pierce. Yes, that crit us all the way. No natural merges. But we can get his ult. Okay. I could dissolve. The only one getting ult is T1, but he gets debuff immunity next turn, so it's probably not worth it. Hmm. I can't get another stack on melee pass if everything is an AoE. So we're just going to have to use our best cards. Missing crits. All day, every day. Only crit T1 there. Alright, so if melee can live then you die, right? Can you kill? A moment we're all waiting for. Very suspenseful. T1 Melly Melly. No crit. Very nice. Ooh, you missed both crits. You don't have another one. It's Pierce. Oh, we did. Missed the second crit. All right, we got a lot of melee buffs to strip. So, there's no point in using this, right? Because someone's dying, you're going to get ult instantly. But just full DPS again. Now, you do have a couple of melee buffs. Ah, uh, just enough to allow... T1 and melee to die to Pierce. What a solo carry. Alright, who's your backline? Who are we bringing out? Also a rack bond. I've been in this situation before and a solo bond has never won. But he's full sending it. So we will also full send it. Okay, nice gold merge. We're definitely going to do this just in case. Um, double bond? Let's let him live steal. Yep, there's that bond damage. You know what? I don't have his bond relic. He does have bond relic. Since rag bond is such a good backline, maybe we should uh, look into getting that. Alright, so we are dissolving again. We got another dissolve, but we don't need to use it. So, um, we'll just go for this merge. I don't think Pierce will kill by itself. And then you're probably dropping your gold. Is it an ult lock? Or is it an attack? Give me two single target melee towers. Okay, we'll get a gold ult control card. That's fine. And another one. This is a long match now. I need to just go for the kill. This is ult locker, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We'll just do that. We'll take it safe. He could have a 6-6 bond, but I didn't check. I think bond ult is... Uh, it's a fate link too, so... It would deal some damage. Finally. Maybe I can kill with these both of these melee attacks now. Gold charge. Let's check just to... Wow, okay, another gold. Okay, he's still ult lock though, so... Doesn't matter. It's definitely not 6-6. Six, six. But I'll just hope this kills. It does kill. You still missed a crit, which is very disappointing considering how you almost wiped earlier, but... I guess it is what it is. This team's not bad, I think, but with the lack of support... No ult control, no healing. The only real utility comes from Bond if Bond makes it to the front. 
it's not bad, but it's definitely not a very flexible team. But if you guys liked it, drop a thumb, maybe a sub if you're into that. I'll see you in the next one.